Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of 1 variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 17 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this basic inequality here, 9w is less than 108. Uh, so what does that mean? And how can we uh, necessarily use that? So what do we have? We've got a 9w, right? And we get a less than. We could plug in some numbers if we want to, to try to figure out what would work. But you know, there's an easier way to do that. And this is a skill that we learn in, um, you know, sixth grade, but we're going to use it for the rest of, you know, the rest of the uh, math career here, especially as we get up into algebra one, we start using this all over the place. There's something we can do to make that a little bit simpler, right? So we have the properties of equality. So what do we know about the properties of equality? Well, the properties of equality are going to kind of be like uh, a guide for us. And so what we really want to learn now is we want to learn the division property of equality. And that's going to be helpful, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So what that says is if... So here's here's a basic expression, right? So if x equals y, what the division property of equality says, you can divide both sides by the same thing, and you can still have a basic equation that equals itself, okay? So if you were to say, um, right, like 4x equals 2, right? Uh, then you can divide both sides by 2 by the same thing, and you would get 2x equals 1. That's going to be the same thing. 4x equals 2 equals 2x equals 1 you can divide both sides of the equation by the same thing. Now there's a multiplication property of equality, which means you can multiply both sides of the equation by the same thing. There is a addition and subtraction. You can add or subtract both sides of the equation. Now in this case, we have an inequality, but the same thing holds. Now why do I want to know about the division property of equality? Because I want to isolate this variable. And what do I have here? I have a 9. I'm going to go ahead and put a, a multiplication sign there. A 9 times a w is less than 108. I want to get that that w all by itself. So I need to think, what is the inverse operation? What is the opposite of multiplication? And hopefully we think uh, that multiplication and division are tied together. That's because they're inverse operations. So if I divide the left side by 9, Guess what I'm going to get? I'm going to get 9 divided by 9, right? So 9w, if I have 9w's and I break those 9w's, right? So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I break them up into just one section, into 9 sections. How much is in one section? Well, I've got 9 sections of 1, right? So now I've got my w all by itself because I have 9w's and I broke it up into 9 individual sections, and I want to know how much is in one section. Well, just a w. I finally have my w by itself. But you can't just do that to one side of the equation. The division property of equality says you have to divide both sides by 9. Okay, so now I need to take my 108, right, and I need to divide that by 9. That might be a, a fact that you've memorized. If not, we can still do a little bit of long division, right? That's going to be 12. Okay, so 9w is less than 108. It's the same thing as w is less than 12. Because I use this division property of equality to divide both sides the inequality by 9, because I knew that 9 times w, the inverse operation of my multiplication is division. Whereas if I had addition, I would use subtraction. If I had uh, division, I would use multiplication. Those are the inverse operations. So my answer is going to be b, W is less than 12.